it was the dance-off last week. Now, we had no plans to repeat it until we had an email in from Matthew Earnshaw who told us that we should listen to the commentary done by the lady who does the audio description for blind people. This goes out during the best bits of the show on the Monday. Um, so, listen to her verbally explain how how the boys danced. Especially Fenners. Last week. Especially Fenners, okay, right at and the you, end. you'll now know why Fenners is called Two Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> we promise this is real. This is what went out on, on air. Flashing lights spell the words dance on. First on is Sheephead. He backs onto the dance floor and flings random legs out to the side as imaginary bongos are played. He also points out to alternate directions. <laughs> Dyson shuffles on, trying out some robotic moves that aren't quite in time with the music. <laughs> Tubes <laughs> bounces on, pushing the floor and ceiling away from him. He resembles Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Luke walks forwards and backwards, waving his arms around. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Neil gives everyone his impression of John Travolta from Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> Rocket tap dances with floppy arms. He jumps into the air, lands, and then attempts to jump over one bent leg. Steve enters wearing a brown hat. He bounces back and forth, stopping from time to time. Removing his hat, he flings it away from him and then tries out some shadow step moves. <laughs> Tramp jumps into the arena. He gives the floor his Michael Flatley moves. Chris shuffles from side to side. He shimmies up and down and flings his arms out to alternate sides. Finally, Fenner saunters in. He wiggles his hips and flaps his arms around. They resemble two snakes fighting to escape a basket. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha